everybody, Rebecca Louise and Alfie here. Today we have got first steps abs for you. So if you're brand new to exercise, this is the workout that you want to do. Alfie got a little bit scared because we had some drones going around, so I'm going to put him here. And if you really need the modified version, Alfie is going to do that, which is pretty much sitting still. Okay, so once you've done our warm up video, the first step we're going to do is just really working on our balance, okay? The core is super important to strengthen it, get some abs. So all I want you to do is uh, have a nice bend in those knees, have your hips tucked under, and we're just going to practice lifting one leg up at a time. Okay, so just however high that you can bring it, keep those hips nice and tucked underneath, and then squeezing those abs together. That's all I want you to do is just lift up, so really pull up for me, put that chest down, and then extend one leg up at a time. So I'm starting with my left, you can choose either one. And it's really important that you keep your back nice and straight, and you just lift. So everything is going to be tight in that core. So what I want you to do is find a focal point right in front of you. Okay, so stare at it, just like you're staring at me, I'm staring at you guys. And you're just lifting that leg up and squeezing that core. So even if you can just hold it up for a second at the top, that's going to be great. We want to wake up and activate those ab muscles. Okay, nice work everyone. Let's just keep going. Squeeze. And one more. Okay, let's go over to the other side. So make sure you're getting yourself nice and comfortable. And if you can only lift your leg up a couple of inches off the floor, that's great. The point is, is that I really want you to make sure that you're centered and that you're squeezing tight and not wobbling. And as you get more strength, you can lift that leg higher. So let's start off down at the floor. Just bring it up a few inches and that's it. Let's just try and lift it a little bit higher and then almost getting that knee to hip height. So the way that you do it is tucking your hips underneath, really squeezing those abs nice and tight for me, and then lift up. Drop those shoulders down, smile and enjoy it, because you guys are going to get amazing results, but you've got to start somewhere. And you're going to be able to get onto those more immediate and advanced workouts once you've got the basics. So let's squeeze for a three, two, one. We're going to go back onto the other side, so shake those legs up. Okay, so this time you're going to have to squeeze even harder because your muscles are going to start to get tired. And that's okay, it is going to get more difficult. But what you've got to do is just got to concentrate and know that when you just keep going, you're going to get those results. So let's see if we can lift that leg a little bit higher than we did the first round. And then squeeze those glutes, squeeze those abs and tuck those hips underneath. You got this guys, looking good. You are going to soon be on that advanced one doing those side oblique crunches, holding a plank for two, three, four minutes. But we got to start here. Let's just build that balance and stability. Okay, bring it a little higher for me. Three, two, and one more. Bring it all the way to the top and let's go back onto the other side. And it's okay if you're still just lifting it a couple of inches off the floor. As you keep doing this workout, okay, adding this into your routine every day, it's really going to build those core muscles. And you can swing your arms too, that's going to help with balance, almost like you're running. And squeeze. Let's go for three, two, and one. Okay, shake out the legs. How are we feeling? Good, good, good. So what I want you to do is take a nice wide second. We're going to do some wood choppers. Okay, so have a nice bend in the knee. And what we're going to do is we're going to pivot to one side and then we're going to squeeze and rotate those ab muscles. So we're working the obliques here too. And once you get to a more advanced one, you can add in some weights. But for right now, I just want you to get the technique right. So you're going to twist round to keep those arms nice and straight. And when you bend down, okay, you're pivoting that back leg and then twist. So just take your time with it, nice and slow. As you can see, Alfie is doing a great job of being nice and slow. <laughs> oh God, he's like the best workout partner. You give me so much motivation, Alfie. See, he's gonna give anybody motivation because anybody can do more than Alfie. Okay, so keep squeezing and go down. Just remember, hashtag, you're not an Alfie. Okay, so you want to keep breathing throughout the exercise. That's going to keep the oxygen going to the muscles, making sure that you don't get dizzy. Keep those arms nice and straight for me. Keep them engaged. And let's see if we can get a little bit lower on that bend and then twist a little bit further around. Really working those obliques is going to be great for trimming the waist, working those muscles. Okay, three, two, one. We're going to go to the other side. So just like we did on the first side, nice big bend. Keep those arms nice and straight for me. And squeeze. Now if you can't go all the way down, that's no problem. You can go halfway. So you can just squeeze and go round. But the lower that you go, the more of a twisting motion you're gonna get. 
and the better you're actually gonna work those legs as well. So keep twisting for me. Have that chest up on the way through and breathe. Okay, let's just do a few more and then we're gonna go down to the ground and we're gonna do the perfect crunch. So three, two, and then the last one. Make this one count and squeeze. Okay, shake out those arms and legs. You guys are doing so great. We're gonna take it down to the ground. I'm gonna show you how to do the perfect setup. And if you're out there, you're just gonna lie flat on your face. So you're gonna come all the way down for me. Now the key here is to make sure that you start off with your back completely flat on the ground. So we're gonna do a test right now. I want you to grab your hand and then stick it under your back. Now squeeze your back so hard down into the ground that you can't even pull this, this hand out. It's really, really important guys that you're squeezing this nice and tight. So if I was to come along and put my hand under your back, there is no way that I would be able to get it out. So you wanna keep thinking about that all the time. So that's gonna help by tucking your hips underneath, having your feet flat on the ground, and all we're gonna do is put our hands here and then just lift up. Just a nice basic crunch. So I don't want you to have your hands like heavy on your head. Okay, you can have a slight rest here and then we're gonna squeeze using our abs to come up. Make sure that you keep your elbows nice and wide and then just breathing in and out. That's it, keep those hips tucked under. We're gonna do three, two, one. Okay, now take a rest. Now let's just practice again. Get that hand, put it underneath the back and squeeze nice and tight. Try and pull it out. You can't put it out. Have those feet nice and flat and squeeze. Okay, let's go for another step. Hands behind the head and let's just lift up. For five, four, three. Turn them up a little higher. Two, make this one your best one. Hold all the way at the top and hold here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax down. Okay, shake out those legs, shake out those arms. We're gonna stretch our abs right at the end, but we're gonna do one more exercise. So putting your hands by your side, we're gonna lift those legs up, okay? So again, really making sure those hips are tucked underneath, you've got your back really flat on the ground. So any time that your back is gonna start to come off the ground, I just want you to lift your legs higher. So it doesn't matter where you start, but we've gotta get the form right if you wanna work those abs and get that six pack. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna extend one leg out at a time on like a 45 degree angle. Now you might have seen in the other videos that we're actually doing these leg drops all the way down here. And I want you guys to start up here and making sure that your back is flat into the ground, okay, before you start to bring your legs lower down. Okay, so crucial, otherwise you're just gonna damage your back and you're never gonna get that flat tummy. So let's keep going, squeezing in and out. Try not to bring those knees too close to the chest. And if you can't feel it in the abs, then just drop those legs down a slightly lower. I'm always making sure the back is nice and tight into the ground. Let's go for another three, two, and one. Okay, drop them down, shake out those legs. You can relax that head, relax your shoulders, wiggle out those legs a little bit, and then we're gonna go into one more step. Okay, so bring those legs up again. Okay, get ready, and let's extend. So make sure you're breathing, really important that you don't hold your breath when you're doing any exercises. You've got to keep that oxygen coming into your muscles, going to be able to keep you working out. So keep squeezing. Now try for me going maybe half an inch to an inch lower towards the ground and see how your tummy feels. See if you can take it. It's all about pushing your body just a little bit more with keeping the form correct. So just one leg out at a time and squeeze that back into the ground. As you really making sure that your back is tight into the ground, you want it to be as tight as Alfie's tummy is to the ground, okay? But your back is gonna be. Okay, so let's speed it up a little bit. We're just gonna go in and out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold those legs out together and we're just gonna do an isometric hold. So really squeeze those, that back down into the ground. Lift your legs up higher if you need to for three, two, one. And relax those legs. We're gonna roll onto our tummy. You're gonna put your hands directly underneath your armpits and we're just gonna lift up. So squeeze, breathe in. And as you breathe out, just go into a nice big cat stretch for me and then gently come up. Now, make sure that you do our cool down video too. That's in the video library. Alfie and I will be back. We've got so many more workouts for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and always check out our nutrition plan.